private equity continues to attract new capital due to the ability to generate returns, despite high competition for quality investments. The valuation of a company, asset or investment is a vital factor in many decisions. This includes selling off part of a family firm, privatizing a national industry, raising finance for an infrastructure project, or deciding where to invest a pension or private equity fund. In this special episode of FDTV, we have come to Oxford to the Private Equity Forum, hosted by Said Business School. This annual forum brings together academics and investors to discuss challenges and opportunities facing the private equity sector. We speak with professors and academic directors of finance programs at Said Business School, as well as a few alumni currently working for the likes of Citibank, Prague Wealth Management and Argen Group. So why is private equity such a topical issue at the moment? Private equity is popular as a topic because people see it as sort of the 21st century way in which companies are governed and owned. In the, in the 20th century, we had stock markets, public companies who were owned by broad range of shareholders and there wasn't really any of those shareholders who controlled the company. So there was a separation of ownership and control. Towards the end of the 20th century and into the 21st century, people realized that investors can actually own the company and control it as well. And that's what private equity firms do. They invest in a, uh, sometimes to buy the whole company or a controlling stake in the company, and they can alter the way it's run. And so it's been a very big change in corporate governance. The second main reason is because it actually has delivered the results for investors. Our research has shown that investors have made three or four percent per annum more from private equity investments than they have through public market investments. And that is ultimately what drives this business. If investors make money, they put more money into it and the sector grows. And historically, that's what's happened. The UK continues to lead the European private equity market. The total value of 26.8 billion euros in 2015 is a significant increase on last year's total of 21 billion euros and over double the total value of the German market, which was at 11.9 billion euros, the second highest market in terms of value. The UK also saw the number of deals going down in comparison with 2014 at 197 versus 236 which suggests that it is the big deals such as Virgin Active, New Look and ERM Group Environmental Resources that have boosted the market. So what makes the UK such a leader of PE? The UK is a leader in PE because it's got a very uh, good environment for private equity. The, the legal system is, is, uh, is very clear. The rules about um, creditors and lenders and the tax scheme is extremely um, positive for private equity. So I think the UK has always batted uh, above its weight in private equity over the years, that there's a higher proportion of, of deals are within the UK than would be justified by its uh, GDP. What kind of programs are on the market at the moment to help executives with the new challenges they're facing? The Oxford Chicago Valuation Programme is covering introduction to M&A, capital structure, LBOs, distress, infrastructure, real estate, uh, and growth capital and venture capital. It's covering all the different asset classes in private equity. We, this program is unique because it's having three layers, theory, uh, cases, and discussions by alumni. The faculty, they're giving the basic concepts in theory. Then we have uh, cases by leading executives and leading private equity funds. We have some modeling workshops and we have discussions by alumni. This combination and blend of 10 people lecturing in class for one week is unique. I head up the Oxford Private Equity Programme and the purpose of this programme is really to introduce people to the sector, to the way deals are done, the investors in the sector and enable people who work with private equity funds or for private equity funds to understand how this business works. Naturally, different executives and different organisations have specific needs and requirements when it comes to the development of their finance teams. So what are the key components of a finance programs that they're actually looking for? 
the key success factors of a successful uh, executive program are the people. You need the right people with the right mindset, led by the right person at a table to discuss exactly their topics. The business world is very focused on getting opinions. The program itself is creating opinions and that is actually only done by people. So I think the major success factor of every program is actually the people participating. I think when you are offering a program to executives, you need to give a knowledge more than what they know. You cannot take an MBA, a typical simple class that you're offering to students 28, 30 years old and to offer it to executives. At the same time, they need to apply what they learn. That means uh, we try to blend the basic academic excellence of Chicago and Oxford, then uh, blend inside, you know, uh, very senior executives so that they're working in Goldman Sachs or Child Bridgepoint, etc. that they bring specific cases that you can find this experience and this knowledge only if you will work in a transaction with them. And then having discussions and uh, um, debates with senior alumni uh, like uh, the chairman of Deutsche Bank, uh, Tom Cooper, Oxford alumnus, or William Jackson, the founder of Bridgepoint and Network around events uh, with them in one week. We have 15 people blending, lecturing, with the participants and this is unique in any other context for any other executive that he wants to take such a compressed knowledge for different asset classes and different products in one week. I think the key components of a successful executive education program include the facilities themselves. You have to go to the very best facilities to actually get the best out of the uh, classroom discussions. It's obviously critical to have good faculty um, and m most important is the actual classroom itself. You need to have a great network of colleagues, uh, both for engaging in the discussion and also out of the classroom to actually build on those discussions. I think the, uh, the, the three key components are the, uh, the people giving the course, um, the guest lecturers, and the, the people who are on the course. So um, in the case of the, um, the valuation program, the corporate valuation program that I, uh, that I took um, in Oxford, the people giving the course were highly enthusiastic and uh, very passionate about their, their subject field. And uh, this, this came across all the time in the lectures and it, was, uh, it, w it, was, it made the whole uh, program extremely interesting to go on. The second thing is that through the context that Oxford has, they were able to um, get extremely good uh, guest lectures from people like Blackstone, Goldman Sachs, UBS, etc. And uh, this also added then to the, um, uh, the experience of being on the course. And the third leg that I mentioned is the executives on the course. Um, the, the people who are on the course uh, were generally pretty experienced um, and were, through their own experiences and their own knowledge base was it, were able to add um, quite a lot to the, uh, to the course by um, th there was a considerable amount of interaction during the case studies. What aspects of the Oxford Private Equity Programme can help executives in assessing the future prospects for this key sector, particularly after the credit crisis and increased regulatory forces? So my initial goal was actually to enhance my knowledge. My background in the past for the last 15 years was mainly focused on the public equity part. Uh, I joined the bank on the capital market side. I've learned a lot about trading, sales, research of listed companies, but I was never really into the private equity world. So with this program, I hope to, to enhance my knowledge and being more open-minded and more clear about that topic. And I have to say the program led by Tim spot on achieve that goal. I found Saeed's executive education programs appealing uh, for a number of reasons. Uh, primarily reputation and credibility of the University of Oxford is one. Uh, location and facilities um, are excellent here. Secondly, the content of the course is very pragmatic. Uh, it was a great balance between the um, industry focus in terms of investing and also from an operational uh, perspective in terms of actually being um, an investment within the PE industry. The University of Oxford Said Business School and the University of Chicago Booth School of Business have joined forces to launch a unique executive program to teach, apply and discuss corporate and investment valuation. So how do they do this? I would wanted to see what is current thinking on private equity valuations. You know, what, what, is, what is going on in the industry as well as what is the academic backing for uh, either, whether it agrees with practice or disagrees with practice. Uh, that particular program offered a, a nice concise 
uh, one-week course. It offered the, pers the perspectives of both the Oxford as well as University of Chicago faculty. So you had both a, a British take on it as well as an American take in two leading business schools. And it brought in, which, which was nice, a number of practitioners, um, who people from private equity funds and in the private equity industry, who had to talk about how, it, not just the academic theory, but how it worked in practice for them. So it was, it was exactly what I was looking for. I think something different between Oxford and any other program is that Oxford's connecting theory with practice. We don't talk about theory, taking concepts, going back, and then saying, okay, I understood what they lectured in Oxford, but you know, how can I apply now? You take the knowledge and you apply the same day. That means the instant application of knowledge, that means doing the theory, doing a case, doing a modeling workshop, apply the knowledge there, taking these modeling cases, applying them next day at work with so senior speaker and so senior selected faculty, this is unique. I have about 30 years experience in finance and in financial services and I wanted to uh, ensure that um, my knowledge of valuation techniques uh, and models was uh, at the leading edge. So that was why I decided to take the, the valuation course and go through uh, various different uh, financing techniques and uh, valuation models with the, the two leading, leading business schools, uh, particularly the side uh, business school. I found that we learnt or, or revised basically a lot of different techniques such as uh, leverage buyouts, capital growth um, and uh, distressed investing as well. Private equity plays a crucial role in funding businesses and driving growth, with UK topping the charts in Europe for last year. Common techniques of valuation, such as comparables, DCF and IRR methods, can provide a guide to a figure, but are often imperfect when applied to real transactions. In this episode, we have spoken with Professor Tim Jenkinson and Andreas Angelopoulos of Said Business School at the University of Oxford who told us about the programs they look after and how they can help executives improve their knowledge of PE. We have also spoken with Oxford alumni that have participated in these programs and have joined the school at their annual private equity forum.